Zidane Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Guilt Trip, which of course is the next episode after Queen Banana comes out. Oh boy. Just a quick reminder, if for those of you who didn't watch my Queen Banana plot video, just like this one, um, if you guys have not yet heard this, do not watch these episodes unless you are going to be someone who needs to do a review of them, such as myself. I will still be watching these and I will be releasing my reviews once the episodes come out. These videos are only guesses as to what I think is going to happen within the episodes. And let me make this clear, these episodes have spoilers. They have big spoilers. Furious Fu had multiple spoilers for pretty much everything that comes before it. Episodes 4 and 5 still haven't come out, and more than likely they explain not only Ladybug's new outfit, but also why she is giving these charms out to people. So, if you guys value your sanity, please do not watch Queen Banana or Guilt Trip until you have seen the episodes that are chronologically before it. So that means Truth, Lies, Gang of Secrets, Episode 4, Episode 5, Furious Foo, Episode 7, then Queen Banana, then Gabriel Agrest, Episode 10, and finally Guilt Trip. Okay? Okay. So with that out of the way, let's actually talk about what I think is going to be happening in this episode guilt trip which is of course episode 11 which will ironically come out on may 11th which also just so happens to be the day before i get my next vaccine so or my next shot for my vaccine so yay um <laughs> oh, back to the topic at hand so so far, we have only gotten a little bit from Guilt Trip, a little bit less than that of Queen Banana, which in Queen Banana, we have gotten uh, multiple trailers as well as some information about the new characters that are going to be within this episode. But what we've gotten for Guilt Trip is basically an entire trailer dedicated to it. And that's it. Now as well as a few clips from other episodes, uh, from other trailers that were actually involving Guilt Trip. Um, so, yeah, let's actually talk about this. So, first off, the important thing to note is that this is, once again, another Reflecta episode, which, oh boy, that's gonna be fun. And apparently, all of the characters are going to be sucked into a vortex and all of that jazz and we're gonna have to deal with all of that chaos as well as rose is going to be getting her miraculous which of course is the pig miraculous who's excited i'm excited <laughs> oh boy there is a lot to unpack here but there's actually something is some rather interesting things going on in this episode. First off, there is um, a rather interesting, uh, uh, some rather interesting things. First off, it seems like Ro uh, Rose is saying something that is causing Julika to have her breakdowns, which I think is important for people to realize what exactly is going on here. I believe that Julika is at this moment trying her hardest to tell Rose how she feels. But she just can't find the words, and she just keeps thinking, what if she re rejects me? What if she rejects me? All of this stuff. Which, let me be clear, people, you can't think like that. A lot of... The fact is that... Let me make something clear. A rejection is nowhere near as bad as people th make it out to be. Honestly, all it is, or our minds make it out to be, all it's going to be is they're going to reject you, usually. They're just going to say, no, I'm not interested, or I see you as a friend only, or 
blah blah blah, so on and so forth. There's lots of things that people can say. But the point is that lots of times, even if it is just, even if they say they don't like you, you can still be friends with them. And then you can move on and try and find somebody else that may just work better. And that's an important thing to talk about. Now, more than likely, a lot of the things that are happening is that Rose is telling Julika about things like, oh, she's talking to print, uh, to the prince or whatever, I'm forgetting what his name is, but lots of different things that have to do with that. Um, and she is having her breakdowns because she thinks, oh, Rose likes this person and doesn't like me and this, that, and the other thing. And it's, it's not fun. <laughs> It's really not fun to be in that situation, let me tell you. And she's going to have her breakdown. She then runs off into, uh, well, run off into the basement, crying her eyes out. And then obviously, this is actually the surprising part. Marinette, Adrian, and... Alia are the first three to get to her. They're obviously everyone else except for Rose is also there to basically comfort her and say, we're here for you. We will support you. This, that, and the other thing. And, but I find it kind of odd that the first three people on the stage are Adrian, Marinette, and Alia. Because keep in mind, this is after Gang of Secrets, meaning that at this time, Alia knows who Marinette is. So, I can't help but shake, uh, just think that something is going to go on soon. I, I mean, obviously, another factor is that uh, there's a lot to this, but it's just something is driving me crazy in my mind, just thinking about the fact that there's a possibility that within either Gabriel Agrest or that of episode 10, we get the reveal and we're getting guilt trip first. <laughs> Let me say that again really quick. There is a possibility that either within episode 9, Gabriel Agrest, or within episode 10, which does not have a name yet, we are getting the reveal. It is a small possibility. It is very small. I do not expect there to be the reveal until the final episode of the season. But honestly think about that. There is that po small possibility. And that is going to drive you as nuts as it's driving me. <laughs> oh, Which, I know that it's probably not real, but... Just think about that for a moment. There's so much there, and we're going to talk more about it as things go on. But also another thing is to think about is that, yeah, it's basically everyone in the class that's there after that, but we'll talk about that later. Um, we then see a moment that is going to be having Rose show up, and they're going to talk, and then she's going to break down again. So what I think is going to happen here is that Rose is going to be told by Julika, Julika is going to tell her that I ha that she has feelings for her. And Rose is going to be like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry if any of my actions have made you think that I feel the same way about you, but I'm straight. <laughs> That's a fact. Like, there is a possibility that, uh, there, there's actually a big possibility that Rose is either straight or bi, and that she is going to end up, she's actually going to end up with the prince because of that whole situation in Princess Fragrance. And that factor is, it's not going to be easy for Julika to deal with, because the fact is that if... Rose actually tells her that she is dating that prince, that's going to be devastating. That's not something you can fix with a hug. It, it it's going to take a while for her to fix uh, for her to recover from that. 
And yeah, seriously, it it's gonna be tough going forward. Um, just wow. I, I needless to say, I'm nervous to say the least. What exactly is gonna happen in Guilt Trip? But obviously, at that moment, Julika breaks down, changing into reflect all uh, reflecta. And with that, opening up that vortex that is going to consume everyone. And she is going to try and convert everyone into literal copies of herself to basically have complete control. And it is... It's not going to be fun. <laughs> the only person that's going to be able to uh, do anything may just be Rose. Because we know that eventually Cadnoir is going to actually get turned into one of these Reflectas. Which, these Reflectas are different because of the fact that they are actually controlled by Reflecta. They are her servants. They aren't just... From what we've seen, they are not just people who will look like her. They are actually her in every sense of the word. And they want to fulfill the same idea that she does and as such it's it's not going to be pretty to say the least reflecta will cause absolute mayhem becoming um uh, causing so many issues and eventually marinette is forced to take out the pig miraculous giving it to rose to ask her for her help and the two of them are going to be the only way that she's going to be able to do anything. And also, it's going to be really fun to see exactly what the Pig Miraculous's power is. More than likely, it is still something to do with smell. Um, whether it's a stunning smell or it's something that will cause people to serve the person who sprayed it. So, basically, the owner of the pig miraculous it might just knock them out it might do a whole bunch of just random things and we don't know exactly right now so there's obviously a lot to talk about when it comes to the pig miraculous once we actually see what it can do but yeah anyways they'll obviously defeat julica and they'll fix everything and whether whatever the situation is like I said, there are two possibilities that I see here with what exactly is going to turn out. Either after this episode, Rose and Julica are actually going to be getting together, or the more likely thing is that Rose is going to be dating um, the prince, whatever his, I keep forgetting what his name is, continuing to date him, and Julica will just have to figure out what she wants to do now, having to learn one of the toughest life lessons that she's going to be learning for a while and a similar lesson that many of our characters have already been learning so that would not surprise me if that is the actual ending of this episode where rose and julica go their separate ways they may stop talking to each other it really depends on what exactly is going to happen moving forward. It's under no circumstances will it be easy. Um, and now I do want to briefly talk about why I don't actually think that they're going to be getting together. Um, here's the thing. I could see a lot of the different countries that Miraculous works with being okay at least with julica being gay the same thing goes for mark being gay i could understand people uh, them being slightly okay with that a lot more than actually having miraculous have a gay relationship with rose and julica at this point the two characters have a pretty much declared themselves female. There's no real going back at it. It's not like you can take what we uh, what happened with Steven Universe where they'd actually decide to make Ruby a boy and um, uh, Sapphire a girl. 
that's not uh, that's just not happening anymore. There's honestly no way to go about that <laughs> with that. So that's the big reason why I think that they're going to actually not go in that direction. The thing is that Thomas Ostruck is a supporter of the LGBT community, so I could see him actually letting it slide and still just deciding, okay, we're still going to have it. And I don't know. So it really depends. The thing is that in France, there's no real problems with it. At, at least not as much in, as with some other countries. So the idea is that there's just so many possibilities, but the fact is that one of the biggest countries that is against that is China. And considering the fact that they just had the Shanghai special, I, I can't imagine them okaying this. I can't imagine China okaying the gay relationship of Rose and Julica. And I know that a lot of the LGBT community is going to be really pissed off about that, but at the same time, right now, they kind of have to think about their business partners, and making that a sh an actual ship is not going to be an easy thing to smooth over with the actual... Uh, with their business partners. If they do this, miraculous may end in China, as well as many other countries, such as the Middle East, and I don't I don't know all of the countries, but a lot of them actually are very against this type of thing. So yeah. I know that I've kind of gone a little bit overboard on this, but that that's something that needs to be addressed. I may not necessarily care about the LGBT community as much as, say, the next person, but I do know that Guilt Trip is going to be that episode that is going to be very uneasy for a lot of people. And as such, we kind of have to discuss it. And yeah, I don't know. This may be the episode where people are going to just... Nope, we're leaving this now. No more. So, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, so, unfortunately, even though I could theorize to the ends of the world and say, yes, absolutely, Rose and Julica are going to get together. That is the thing that I see happening. That is a very strong feeling that I have based off of the episode review. Or, based off of the episode trailers. But, based off of what is going on with other countries, I still don't see it actually happening, unfortunately. So, we're just going to have to wait until the episode actually comes out. And that's as, about as far as I'm going to go with this plot, or this plot theory. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and ring that notification bell. If you have any thoughts or theories, please leave them down in the comments below. If you are going to leave a theory, make sure to say theory review somewhere in your comment below. Or, and all that jazz. Of course, if you do want to support the channel even more, then definitely head down to the description and check out all of our links down there, including our social medias, our other channels, and ways you can support us financially, including our merch store, the book, and our Patreon. But anyways, guys, I've been Electro Ninja, and I will see you guys next time. But on!